Bases on YouTube are almost always horrible. For every gem, there are at least a thousand shitters. In this series, we're going to pick apart some of the worst of these. For episode one of Bad Bases, we're looking at the reinvented 2x2 solo version 2 from Lefty, which has more views on its own than my entire channel. We begin with the raid. We efficiently defeat this base for a bit over 13 rockets via the door path, but any other reasonable route would only add at most a couple more. An inverse conditional roof seal like this one can be bypassed with fire splash effects like the Molotov. You can mitigate this by making the ceiling twig wood, but I'd advise not using this bunker at all while this vulnerability exists. Let's talk upkeep. Given the total lack of online defense options, this upkeep is frankly unacceptable. Small bases in the sub-20 rocket range should be around half of this build cost, on top of usually having shooting floors or at least a roof exit. But what is inflating the cost here? Three things. One, metal overkill. Two, it's straight up incorrect. And three, half walls. The first one we're going to glaze over because optimizing the build tier of blocks is too boring for this video. The second is just dumb. The cost Leftly uses in his video is pulled from the Sanctuary save, which has internal metal walls in the honeycomb and randomly upgraded garage frames. This suggests that Lefty never took this to live, since he should recognize the totally wrong upkeep. The real upkeep is probably closer to 1800 metal. Lefty's quality control issues aside, the worst issue here is the half walls. Half walls are the devil. They should only be used when truly necessary, and even then we should really just fix the footprint. This is because half walls cost the same as actual walls. The 24 half walls in Lefty's design are enough to build an entire other 2x2 or even a tower as tall as dome. 12 are in the pancake layer, the other 12 are in random places like honeycomb. All of that waste, just to float a single triangle behind the inverse seal. Could we fix all of this? Yeah. But do you know what we would end up with? A plain honeycomb 2x2. Two two. The 2x2 two two does not need reinvention. Of all the baseline starters in Rust, the 2x2 two two has the least room for improvement. This base is bad because it has low quality of life, complexity with no gain, uses pointless gimmicks, is seriously inefficient, and, to be frank, should still be in development unreleased. And now a word from our sponsor. Comment, like, and subscribe for more sick base roasts! Thank you, my viewers, for being along for the ride. Though I don't see cloud on my channel, it makes me feel good to see y'all enjoying what I share with you. As always, have a wonderful day.